the 10 themes that you have chosen, and I'm sure it was a difficult choice how to sort of categorize and organize the state of fintech, and also why you, you're calling 2024 the age of fintech hyperscalers. Is it only mm -hmm. just because of you know, so many customers, the 100 million from New Bank and, and the 50 from Revolut? That's a piece of it, but there's a lot more to it than that. What's fascinating is if you look at Revolut, they're in something like 40 plus markets. They have banking licenses in Mexico, the UK and in Europe, and now potentially the United Arab Emirates as well. This is sort of almost starting to look like Citibank's strategy from the 80s of becoming truly global. But what's different is they're doing it with a single global tech platform, which was not the case when we had the universal global banks of the 80s and 90s. So this is meaningfully different. Stripe is in something like 40, 50 markets, but it's a single global platform. The Agit is a single global platform. Whether I'm doing e-commerce or online or a terminal or I'm using a mobile payment, it's a single platform, a single set of APIs. And what that means is they can compound their advantage and they can deliver different types of value and different types of revenue to their customers. So instead of competing on price, they compete on value and they can do more things with that technology stack. And this has always been the story that's missing. Everybody looks at you know, Revolut or Newbank and says, well, we could have a mobile app. And they miss the qualitative assessment that says, okay, but what's the average revenue per user? And what's the cost of acquisition per user? And what's their lifetime value? And you realize that the cost of kind of running an account for Newbank is like 90 cents on a monthly basis, just a fraction of a fraction of what you would see at a, at a large institution. So their hurdle rate for profitability is so much lower. So this is why I call them hyperscalers, because the more they scale, the more they get the returns to scale of their single digital global platform.